Hello, Pisces, one of the very last. As always, it is time for your reading for September to October 1st of this current year. Excuse me for being late. I hope you Pisces have been being good. My daddy, Saturn, has just went back to direct and will be in Capricorn for the next two to three years. And he was retrograde for a while, so you were building up your karma while his back was turned. So if you were up to no good or, you know, you're up to a little bit of naughtiness, well, that's determined to see by how Saturn treats you as a light, right? So we'll see how everything goes with you, okay? Hope y'all are doing rather well. I've been doing it. Eh, I'm here. <laughs> Shit happens, you know. Life as is. But, uh, yeah. I've been doing pretty well. We're gonna see what's going on with y'all. Pisces are such strange fish. Like, seriously, why are we talking about flying fish? I will never get over a Pisces telling me that, because it's just like, what the fuck does that even mean? Alright, let us begin, Pisces. For you, we got... Oh, you are hibernating in fear. This is the Hierophant. Maybe it's a Virgo, but it's reversed. So that means someone's, like, desperately hiding away and does not want to be bothered. Um, it could also lead to signs of isolation and depression, if severe enough. Please go to your doctor for la 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 la. What you want? Mm. Uh, delivery of bad news? Or a delay of some news that's bad? Right, you guys were having some backstabs or some shit going on around you or something, right? Hmm. What you're afraid of? A giving and receiving situation. Someone maybe is holding back more than what they should and not being very generous. Maybe you're trying to get more from them or maybe you're the one holding back. What's going on around you? Someone's going on a really bad fool's journey and that's what's causing them to be isolated and a little bit depressed and not wanting to deal with people. Like, someone's not paying attention to where they're going with their actions or words or whatever it is because this is the fool. This is the very, very beginning. This is default, you know, like, ignorance. Someone could be being ignorant. I said it. It happens, though, you know? Um, what is going against you? A king of wands! Possibly Leo, for the most part, because I like counting Leo as king, because why not? Could also be Sagittarius or an Aries. Someone who isn't, who's being extra, extra strict, stern. Um, a spoiled king prince of sorts, being really, really bratty about things and how they want them done final result in that is there is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius possibly. Someone on the lookout for information. And the beginning theme is someone is not being as generous and nurturing as they should be. It could be a female Aries. Could be. Ah, uh, because she's the Empress. And the Emperor is a uh, Aries, so you know, shit happens. Um, but yeah, someone isn't being as nurturing, as kind, as motherly as they should be or maybe they're just not capable of it right now maybe somebody's withdrawing from their emotions and not being very uh kind maybe they're shunning someone they're shunning somebody because like i don't know because i guess that's what women do i guess i don't know i have no idea right right so we got someone being a little bit isolated and keeping to themselves keeping away from people and what's going against them is that is acting like a spoiled king prince or dealing with a Leo who's being like that. Being very overbearing, very unconcerned, being very over the top on people. And there's a fear of like possibly somebody not giving more than they're receiving. Like someone here is like asking for more and someone's withholding like, ah, uh, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm pretty sure you do drugs. I made that part up. I don't think someone's on drugs, right? If they are on drugs, that was just, like, me talking shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it's like they don't want to give anymore because, like, there's no reason to. Or maybe they don't trust the person they're given to. Then there's this fool's journey where someone's really not paying attention to what they're doing or what they're going through. And what they're wanting is some bad news to usher in. Like, they're both looking this way. This is the only one going this way. Well, the other one's running away like a coward, right? 
and they want some bad news and are look out in the outlook for some information about that. I feel like someone's still trying to start shit. Pisces. You know, like, someone's not paying attention to where they're going and it looks like they're running away while this guy's coming in for some bad news that someone's on the lookout for. I feel like they're trying to use some bad news about this King of Wands person. Or maybe they're the same person and they're actually against whoever. You or the person you're dealing with, Pisces. And like, I feel like you're trying to send somebody on a fool's... I've, if not you, someone's trying to send somebody on a fool's journey while they run away. After trying to send some bad news to someone who's looking for information, there's some, like I really feel like someone's still not done trying to be sneaky. I really feel like someone's still trying to like come at you, man. Like this is like that's the vibe I'm getting. I feel like. Someone's trying to set somebody up and they're running the other way and they're sending bad news to this person who's on the lookout for it. Like, snitch, right? Right. Okay. Let's go on, Pisces. So, with this Hermit, somebody who's isolated and all this shit, right? Possibly King of Pentacles, and that might actually be a Virgo. Someone who is a provider, someone who is giving, someone who is able to manipulate and provide and is very focused on what he can give. He's even got his little pinky up, like he's on a teacup because he's that. Fucking fancy. Ah! Okay. <laughs> With this page of wands who's coming to deliver news or is even might even be delayed with news or something. I think he's traveling to a Knight of Pentacles. Like there's something to offer with this travel of bad news or delay of this travel of news. Like, there's something of value there. I don't know if these are the same people, though. Like, they're facing each other? Like, is this King of Pentacles giving this Knight of Pentacles? Like, are they exchanging some shit? And that's when the Page of Wands is going to, like, take off with this information? You're just about to exchange something? Um, with this fear of yours where someone might not be as giving... In this give-take where someone might be greedy or someone might be asking too much. Is that what you wished for? Someone got exactly what they wished for. Huh. With this fool going on a fool's journey, like, running away and not really paying attention to where they're going. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. That is a lot of pressure. Like, you're trying to run away from all of this, like, pressure that this isolated, like, King of Pentacle has over top of them. Like, they're going down on them. No um, sexuality intended, of course. But it's like... They're putting the pressure on this fool who's trying to run away. With this king of wands who's, like, spoiled, very strict, very stern, not really giving much, not, re not probably not even really liked because of their attitude, who's against you. Um, putting the house upside down. Making a burden at the person who supports the family. Hmm. Like, spoiled nature is just ruining the household, I feel like. Or someone's bad behavior is harming the family of sorts. And then we have this page of swords. Who is on the lookout for information? <laughs> what? Because all of their options are out. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Like, they don't have any other options? Like, nothing else looks worthwhile? Like, what the fuck? This dude's out for information because all of his cups are empty. Someone's looking for something because they don't have any more investment in anything else. Holy shit. 
Um, ending team, someone needs to get out of here because someone isn't. <laughs> what? Pisces, you guys crack me up, I swear. Like, what is this? What is this? Like, someone needs to get out of this bad situation. Because they aren't being as kind and as generous, or because someone else isn't being as kind and generous. Mind you, I, I did say this is a female Aries, so that could be possible. Like, maybe she's not being kind, and maybe someone feels like they need to get out of that situation, because this Aries is not being kind. So, here's the hermit who's the provider with the King of Pentacles, right? Who I really think is exchanging, like, something of value with this Knight of Pentacles. And what they have against them is this King of Wands who's, like, tiring the house into a burden. And is just fucking up the family. And, like, now that there's this give-take relationship that someone wished for, it's like, it seems like someone's being a little bit more greedy with what they're giving than what they should be. But that's what they asked for. And then, uh... Here's someone going on a fool's journey running this way because they're under some pressure. While this Knight of Pentacles ex is exchanging something with this King of Pentacles is going off to trade some news with this Page of Swords who doesn't have a lot of options. Or is, who his options are shit. Like he invested too much in, or too little in everything and nothing like really added up to anything. You know? Oh, that almost spark up. My god, guys. Jeez, like, you guys are so dramatic in your shit. Nothing was going wrong for you. I don't think you'd feel right. But yeah, like, there's a lot of, like... Craziness right here. It's like... I really feel like... There's a reason why this person is taking off. Because of this pressure. But I really feel like it's because... They're trying to send somebody off to do this shit. But... It's like they're, these two people are going to exchange something. Like, I feel like these two are going to exchange whatever. And then this Page of Swords is going to, like, be on the lookout for information, but there's not going to be any there. There's not going to be any options with that information. really hard to get these last three cards for you guys. I'm noticing today. Oh. Oh. Well, speak of the devil. Okay. Oh, these two came up first. So, someone's trying to be kind, cool, collected, all this shit. Someone is like... Someone is... This could be you, Pisces. This could also be a Cancer or Scorpio. But someone's trying to be within themselves. Someone's trying to deal with the situation correctly. They're isolated, but they're also trying to make an escape and not see where they're going. Hmm. There is a love relationship in here somewhere. Maybe even karmatic. With this bad news coming from this... Page of Pentacle, I really feel like is exchanging information with this King of Pentacle. I don't feel like they're the same person at all. I really don't think that these are the same people. Like, I don't know why, but... Like, normally I would think they were, but they're not. They're exchanging something of value, and then... Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. The hermit, who is the press, is exchanging news with this page of 
ones who's got bad news. Like, does someone get bad news and that's why they're in Hermit? Like, one came to deliver this and that's why they're like that and they're trying to get back to themselves? Is that why they went on a fool's journey because of all that pressure? They isolated themselves and then the news came in and now like, yeah. Okay, okay. Then we got these lovers right here. This faded romance. And then we have someone mulling over some shit. A little bit of regrets. Not entirely happy with how things worked out. Huh. Damn, y'all. Well, that was your reading, Pisces, and I'll see you later. Bye-byes.